Hi everybody. I'd like to thank everybody for the comments and the questions on my previous video about the operation of the flap select switch and uh, I thought I'd do a little more about the flaps as everybody seemed to be interested in it. And of course everything I'm telling you is all in the manual, it's, it's nothing new, but uh, I just thought it, it might be interesting. This is the cardinal flap switch and as we all know 10 degrees of flap is recommended for takeoff. If we lower the flap to 10 degrees, there's the flap follower coming down showing the flaps have gone down to 10 degrees. And on this blue bit of colour here, it says 130. This means that we can lower flaps on the cardinal at 130 knots. Beyond that, 20 degrees and so on, white arc at 95 knots. Here we are outside the aeroplane and we're looking at the page from the cardinal manual. And this section here says the flaps must never, capital letters, the word of Cessna, exceed 10 degrees when the control lever is moved from the 0 degrees to the 10 degrees position. The reason for this stricture is that if the flaps move more than 10 degrees when you're doing 130 knots, you're in grave danger of overstressing the wing with obvious consequences. Here we are at the flaps. It's a good idea to look at the edge of the flap and the edge of this fairing and make sure the two are pretty much in line. It means that you have no flap down when the flap is selected up. If, if there's any of the flap down in the cruise, you will lose speed. Here we've got a mobile phone. We'll place that on there and just zero it. That's zero. And we'll ask my glamorous assistant to select the flaps 10 degrees down. There they go. 10 degrees. It's a good idea to check that because what you don't want is to have your flaps going down more than 10 degrees if you lower them at 130 knots.